Thank you. Area veterans, some angry, are talking with Kay Texas tonight about the two Callahan County Sheriff's candidates accused of misleading voters about their military records. Kay Texas reporter John Rapolo live in the studio with this update. John? I will. Former Detective Leroy Foley under an independent investigation led by Clyde PD. Callahan County Chief Deputy Rick Jowers admitted to misrepresenting his service record and is under investigation by a website called Military Phonies. It was this website called Military Phonies that first went public with former Clyde Police Detective Leroy Foley's alleged false claims of military service. And then a few days later, focused on Callahan County Chief Deputy Rick Jowers. Stolen valor related issues are, are somewhat epidemic in, in the country. And it, it has to do with people using false claims of military service. Back to it. <laughs> Ron Loring served in Vietnam in a combat infantry unit. We caught up with him at VFW Post 6873 Tuesday. He says he never got any medals, but he came home in one piece and says he never lied about his military service. And I cannot see how anyone, anyone would brag on, I got this and I got that when they didn't. When they didn't. I mean, it's just wrong. Mm -hmm. Did you falsify your military record, Mr. Foley? Any response to the allegations against you, Mr. Foley? Mr. Foley. Leroy Foley claimed he was an airborne ranger and the recipient of a Purple Heart and a Silver Star. He refused comment Monday after he was put on leave from Clyde PD and then resigned. Both airborne rangers. Callahan County Sheriff Chief Deputy Rick Jowers said in a public debate he was an airborne ranger. Monday, he apologized for misleading the public, saying he never served in an airborne unit. According to military phonies, both Jowers and Foley could have violated the Stolen Valor Act of 2013, which made it a federal misdemeanor to misrepresent your service record. To gain promotions or jobs or whatever, you know. Uh, to us, that's an obvious violation of the Stolen Valor Act. All right, Congress passed a revised version of the Stolen Valor Act back in 2013 to make it a crime for a person to falsify their military service record. We're live at the studio, John Rapolo, K Texas News.